Hello friends, it's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How you doing today? Welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me. I am working on my Tuesday Tassel video. So uh, my idea for this week was I wanted to make in my plan, and it, you know, it still is, to make a Christmas tassel. But what do you see in front of me? <laughs> you see a bunch of pink. <laughs> So I had all my red and green out here, and I was like, I really want to make a pink Christmas tassel. I mean, I have pink scrapbook paper that I made some cards with. Um, I could grab a card for you. Let me see. I'll show you one of my pink Christmas cards, or some of them. Yeah, I've got quite a few. I think I've got quite a few here that I made. Uh, I do the card videos on the 15th of every month. So here's some cards I had made with mine. This is made from scrapbook paper uh, about a month or so ago. Let's see. Oh, that's the, I have an envelope with each one. So, yeah, these are cards that I made. So I'm kind of like in a pink Christmas mood. I think a lot of people are, it seems, this year. This was a drilling card, and here's another card. So those came out so cute. So I was kind of like in a pink Christmas mode. Uh, since then and so I got out my pinks here looked around in my fabrics and my trims and things so I'm going to show you what I have here and then we're going to put this together so this is I uh, see this right here this is pink fabric a fat quarter that I tore strips from isn't it pretty pink and pink and pink on pink on pink <laughs> and it's floral but uh, you know I figured I when you tear something in strips it's almost like uh, I mean, you can still see the flowers, but it's al almost, sometimes it's like whatever design is on there is kind of disappears and you kind of just all blends together. But I didn't care if there were flowers or what was on there. I just like the color. And so uh, I got that. And then I have this pink. Let's see if I have any left here. I got all my ribbons pulled out here. Pink grow grain. Got some of this in there. It's just pink grow grain. And then I've got... Let's see, I don't think I have any of this left. Let me see here. So I'll have to pull a piece out and then put it back. This is kind of like delicate um, eyelash trim. See how long the eyelashes are? Let me show you on my hand. Very long eyelashes on this eyelash trim. I had received this from a friend a while ago. And while I was looking for pink, I came across that. And then I have this pretty pink lace. I have some of that left right here. It's a ruffly, a little bit ruffled lace. And I like the ruffly lace. I mean, any lace looks good, but the ruffly lace in a tassel adds a nice kind of like texture. You know, besides just straight, you got that little ruffle going through. And then let's see, this pink ribbon here, I've got some of this. You see that kind of a satiny uh, ribbon there. So I've got uh, two or three strips of each thing I'm showing you, except for the lace. And of course the fabric, I have a bunch of strips. That's the major part of it. And then I have a string of pink and white Baker's Twine, which is right here. This is pink and white. It's not red. And I have pink buttons on there. So like here's one left. These types of buttons right here are light pink buttons. Are I've got 10, five on for each side of the tassel of pink buttons. And there's one big one on there too. Most of them are that size though. So now I'm at the point I didn't want, I did all that before the video so that we could just put it together, uh, together, <laughs> put it together, together. So um, if you watched my last couple of weeks of Tuesday tassels, uh, this is how I do it. I didn't want to, um, I did the, even did the buttons beforehand. So I'm going to get all my little ribbons and things a little bit kind of even here as far as length. Make sure nothing's like really long on one side and short on the other. So let me see. I think they are looking good. I uh, just want to make sure. Oh, one of my eyelashes fell out. Okay, let's put, let's put this one back in there. There you go. No escapees. <laughs> Nobody's allowed to escape. Okay. Looking good. Looking good. 
All right, so then I just put my, I've got a note, you know, notebook ring here that just I can clip around. So I'm going to go ahead and clip that around here. I have a couple of different options for tying it, so I'm going to try a couple of different things with you. See which one I like best. So let me just clip this. This one's really tight. I had trouble even getting it open. So let me see if I can get it closed again without destroying my tassel. I mean, it's good that they're tight because they, you want them to stay together, right? So let me just see. Got to have a little bit of finger. Got to use my finger muscles here. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so again, let me check my length on each side. There's a ribbon that looks like it might be trying to be short on this side. Okay, so there we go. Isn't she pretty? That's one side and here's the other side. Okay, before we tie it, I want to turn my, I'm going to turn my, um, fabric so it's facing outward I think that would be a good idea so we're not just having all our fabric backwards here and see in the back of it because it is kind of like two sided you know we're two sided where it's lighter on the back and the real pretty pattern is on the front so and it's going all over in between so let me just kind of make sure everything's turned the right way This one goes that way. This one goes that way. I don't know how they got so kind of turned around because they were all facing up. <laughs> that must have been the way I turned it when I flipped it. But there we go. That looks good. Let me look at this side real quick. I'm going to do this right the first time. I don't have to undo it or anything. Okay. So I hope you're joining me in making some tassels. Uh, all my tassels that I make on tass Tassel Tuesday go into my, so far anyway, have gone into my Etsy shop. So in case you're looking for a pink Christmas tassel, or of course this doesn't have to be a Christmas tassel. It can just be a pink tassel for whatever <laughs> you need a pink tassel for. And I've been making them nice and long. This one is... Uh, well, I'll tell you in a second. My ruler here is going to end up being about about 12 inches long. So it's a nice long one. Okay, so now I'm going to use, oh, my two choices are, I have some of this. It's, it's like a gingham pink and white. Here's a thinner strip. I think the thinner, if I, you want to use this, it would be better to use the thinner strip. So I can tie this around here. Let me see. I think that would be cute to stay with the pink theme. And then I have another thing to tie on, too, which I will show you. Actually, I actually have two more things to tie on. Uh, before I tie that on, let me, let me do the other things because this can be an overlay for the other two things. So the other two things are, well, this button, which I think I'm going to put on the top. Okay, the other thing is some a couple of bells. So I'm going to tie a couple of bells on here, but I'm going to put them, I think I'm going to put them through that ring before I tie it off on some baker's twine, another piece of baker's twine, and I'm going to tie them on the ends of this string, and that's to stay with the Christmas theme, but I'm just going to put one on each end of this string, which will mean it'll be one on each side of the tassel, you know? But I'm doing that because if someone wants to get this tassel and they don't want the bells on there, they can just kind of like cut them off. You know what I mean? They can just cut them off and leave the baker's twine on here because the baker's twine is pink and white. Again, matches. And then you can actually put something else on here if you don't like the bells. I'm just doing the bells for a fun little Christmas element. And there's just some little silver bells here I have in my stash that I had bought. I think last year at Dollar Tree, if I can get them out of here, there we go, so just two, don't want to get crazy with the bells, 
I mean, really, I would like to just put them all up and down. I think that would be fun, but <laughs> I figured, I know some people don't like, you know, the noise or whatever, so I figured I'd just put one on each end of this Baker's twine. And I'm kind of like just twisting the end of the Baker's twine here, or I might have to cut it off. That one's kind of getting a little loose there. Let me just cut that little end off there and see if I can get a tighter end to get through this bell. Let me see if I can get it through there. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to tie I think I'll just tie a knot right around the bell, the little loop, you know, that I put the string through there. I'm going to tie a knot right there. Actually, I'm going to tie a double knot. And then if somebody gets this and they don't want the bell on there, they can snip it right off. <laughs> See? It's going to be cute, right? Okay, and here's the other one for the other side. So adorable. Tie my double knot. So I hope everyone's having a great day. It's uh, what I'm doing this Monday night, so this will be published tomorrow on Tuesday. So I hope you're planning a nice week. Um, you know, just working, crafting at home and working outside you know I work outside my home but I mean I'm working and then I come home to craft or whatever do all my stuff whatever I do at home had my dinner watch some tv now I'm in my craft room and uh been trying to clean up my craft room but I still have a ways to go on that uh I'm on baby watch you know I'm gonna be a Mimi soon Her, my daughter-in-law's due date is November 29th. I predicted uh, November 15th, with it, which is this Sunday, so we'll see what happens. But I'm making plans. Uh, so let's, let's don't talk too much. I need to concentrate on what I'm doing here, right? So I'm kind of excited about, you know, things happening, being on baby watch and stuff. Uh, okay, so here we go. Our beautiful tassel. So next we need um, our, we've got our bell. The next thing I was going to do is, let me go ahead and tie this around. Let's see how we like this. If I don't like this, I can take it off and put some baker's twine on there. But I think this would look really cute if it works out. So this is where I just tie a little uh, loop or knot around here around the top to make our top, you know, we pull this down really tight, tight as we can. And then tie a loop around here to just hold our tassel together. So let's do that. Before I told, tie it completely tight, I'm going to pull this down once more. It feels, whoops, <laughs> it feels tight. Okay, so let's go ahead and tie it. Yeah, that, I like this. Okay. If I don't like, if I change my mind, I can just always take it off, right? But I think, I think I really like it. Yeah, I was trying to make this into, um, this into, you know, part of the tassel, but it wasn't long enough. I didn't have long enough pieces, so. Okay, so that becomes part of the pretty tassel. And then the other thing I wanted to tie on was this button. I thought this was just a neat little pink. Well, it's not big, neat. It's, when I was looking for buttons, I found this big pink one. I thought that was so pretty. That would be the perfect little touch to uh, top it off, you know, like a charm. I don't have a, you know, a pink Christmassy charm. So I figured this would be awesome as a topper here. So I'm going to run some, let me run a piece of Baker's Twine through this and see how we can attach this. I've never done this exact thing before, attaching a button on the top of a tassel like this. So kind of like thought we'd do it, you know, together. So let's see. So if I tie it on, I want it tight. I want it secure. I want it kind of like, let's see, kind of like right there, or maybe, let's see, what's, oh, this is the front. Okay, so the strings are coming out the back. So I can tie it. Yeah, I like that. Isn't that cute? So let me um, let me make go ahead and make this 
string long too, so I'll have some more things added to our tassel. I need enough to tie a kind of a double knot in the back. So let's see how whoops, let's see how long that is. Yeah, so um, you know, we're excited. This is our first grandchild coming, and I <laughs> my boss. My boss and his wife gave me a portable crib that they don't need anymore for their grandchild because their grandchildren are getting older. So they gave me their portable crib, which is in very nice condition and everything. And so I already set it up. <laughs> I already set it up and I washed a little um, kind of thing, covering thing that goes over the mattress. I washed that and put that in there. And they also gave me a changing pad. So I got that and I ordered some new uh, cover, a couple of new covers for that today from Amazon. Some cute little, you know, cute little covers with baby patterns, you know, on them. So it'll be cute. So I got, that'll be ready to go in a couple of days. I'll have those covers. So that changing uh, area will be ready and the portable crib will be ready. And then uh, what else did I do? Well, I have Mimi's bookshelf. I got that ready a long time ago in uh, the guest room. There's a little bookshelf, but it's on the ground. It's like a seat with a shelf under it, so it's not anything that would fall over or anything. So it's a little seat with a shelf under it, so that a little toddler can go and get... Yeah, you know, I'm looking way ahead, right? But a toddler can go get a book from there, and we can read it together. And then what else did I do? To get ready for baby. Well, I have plans to uh, decorate when they when I get the news that they're going to the hospital because we can't go to the hospital because of COVID. We're not allowed. Isn't that weird? But that's how it is right now. So um, I don't know exactly. You know, they'll probably get home twenty four hours or so later after the baby's born. Is what you know usually happens so I'm going to um, go while they're at the hospital and decorate like maybe the door or the mailbox or both with you know it's a girl and you know decorate that and then I also have plans to make a pan of lasagna and take that over you know and be all ready to just heat up and I'll take that over like so with some garlic bread and some my friend's making some cupcakes. She she bakes and makes delicious cupcakes. So she's going to make some cupcakes. Her favorite are lemon. So she's going to make the lemon. Where's my button? Oh, it's on the other side. So she's going to make the lemon cupcakes. I'm going to make the lasagna and garlic bread and take that over where they're, while they're at the hospital. And then they'll have a nice meal when they get home to just heat up whenever they're ready for it. Okay, so here is our tassel. I think she's very beautiful. She's got that fluffy, nice fluffy lace there. And I think you can probably see it pretty good. Uh, the only other thing I was thinking about putting on was this, but I don't think I really have a spot for it. Well, maybe I do though. I have this, wait a minute. I have this Baker's twine we just put on here for the button so I could hang it from there. Yeah, it'll just be a little, let's see. I'm trying to see where we want to hang it. Do we want to hang it, hang it from the bottom? It's just the only one I have, but it's the only pink charm I had. So, yeah, I think it would be cute, like, hanging with the bells. So you have the bells, and you have this little pink charm. So I'm just going to tie a little knot right here. And then whoever gets it can actually move it around. They can undo the knot and move it around if they want it up. I wonder how it would be up there. Let's actually try it before we tie a knot. Because it could be in a little... The button's in the front, and this could be hanging in the back. Oh, yeah, I like that better. Okay, yeah, let's do that. We're going to tie another knot here. Well, that worked out well, didn't it? <laughs> we have a little chart button in the back, a little kind of crystal, pink crystal here in the back, in the back of it. There we go. So here's the back with that little pink crystal. Let me show you up close because it's kind of, you know, like a little, almost like a little bling there. And then the buttons in the front. Isn't that adorable? So there she is, a beautiful tassel. And by the time you see this, this will be in my shop. So hope you enjoyed this week's tassel, and I will see you next week.
with another fun and beautiful tassel. See y'all next time and happy crafting.